hello guys welcome back to my channel here where i give you update concerning immigration and our people living in the diaspora especially nigerians now as it is now about 369 immigrants from nigeria who uh, were currently stuck in libya have been deported back to their home country as you can see um this is uh, these are some of the people who were deported there are a lot of pictures that i may be showing you so you will see whether your brother is uh, among them okay so i don't know whether to say congratulations to them or otherwise but to me i think it is a good news because um with recent happenings in libya uh, um <laughs> it became obvious that libya was no longer safe for foreigners to especially uh, people of color to inhabit anymore okay so i will say congratulations to them for at least making it out alive because a lot of people have died there out of um, the frustration that the libyan authorities have given to our people so let's quickly check it out and see when it happened now they said that on july um tuesday july 30th uh 30th of uh, july 2024 libya deported 369 irregular migrants to their home countries which is uh, nigeria and mali including more than 100 women and children reported afp mohammed bareda head of the libyan interior ministry organization ta uh, tasked with halting irregular immigration or regular migration said two repatriation flights took place departing from mitiga international airport transporting 204 nigerians and 165 malians to their home countries the flight to nigeria included nine babies 18 minors and 108 women he added wow so majority of these people are women you can see some of them here our sisters are so very beautiful <laughs> uh, i hope uh, you guys are intact because uh, in libya <laughs> um, <laughs> let me not talk let me let me let me code my statement bareda said that the flights were carried out in coordination with the international organization for migration which is iom the iom provides free return flight to migrants and helps reintegrating them into their home countries with its voluntary humanitarian return program but some migrants reportedly told afp on tuesday that they were being forcibly deported against their wish so you know that these migrants majority of them were captured even while they were working some were captured at their various work uh, places some in the hospital some in the apartment in their houses so they forced them to go home they forced them because when the libyan authorities began to raid the entire country there was i knew that it was a very big problem so they never wanted to know whether you had documents i said it earlier but somebody was arguing that oh how can you say that how can you be doing this and doing that but it is the reality these libyan police does not care to know whether you have a passport or you have this or have that they may even tear it on you and that will be the end of the story so when things are very hot you need to find a way to hide whether you get paper or you don't have that is just the truth of the matter now according to them they say libyan authorities came at night and broke down the door said hakim 59 59 years old a nigerian who has lived in libya for 25 years who declined to give his surname he said they confiscated okay they confiscated his passport before detaining him and his wife prior to repatriation i said this earlier but when we give information here some people will oh you see them in comment section oh where where is the truth it's a lie it's a lie i said that these libyan authorities will tear your nigerian passport and nothing will happen 
You see, this man was living with the family in an apartment which they are paying for. Imagine somebody who have lived in Libya for 25 years. That means that this place, this person have lived there peacefully and integrated into the system. But despite that, when the fire was burning, they never wanted to know whether you have, you, you have lived there or not. They, all of you are foreigners. As far as you're a foreigner, my dear, just get out. That is how it is in Libya. So they don't want to know. That's why I told somebody that going to Libya, even your loved one may not have authority over you to rescue you. So that is why going to Libya is very dangerous. So somebody who tells you that, oh, I've been here for 50 years, so no level, I've known them, they have known me. They know they know you finish. Once it happens, they may even deny you. They don't know you. And there's nothing you can do. There's nobody you can complain to because this is an agreement that all of them have had. Okay? Now, Libya struggles to recover from chaos after the 2011 NATO-backed overthrow of Muammar Gaddafi. Smugglers exploit the instability and Libya faces criticism, criticism for its treatment of migrants, including allegations of extortion and slavery. As a key departure point for sub-Saharan migrants to Europe, many are now stranded due to efforts by Libya and the European Union to curb irregular migration. Now, this raid that just happened recently and is still currently happening is because of the money that was, you know, impute into the system to raid all these people because they were crossing the Mediterranean Sea, you know, going to Tunisia and also coming to Europe. So the European government, especially Giorgia Meloni, who is the prime minister of Italy, gave huge funds to the Libyan Coast Guard. I mean, those, I mean, on the Mediterranean Sea and even gave money to the Libyan police. That's why this raid happened. Okay, in case you are not aware, it's not because you committed any particular um, offense in Libya. Recently, Libyan authorities reported up to 80% of foreigners are undocumented. Interior Minister Imad Trabelsi called for resolving the issue, deeming Libya's shift to a settlement country unacceptable. So that is um, the latest info that I have for you guys when it comes to this uh, libyan repatriation okay so uh, congrats to those who have uh, been you know deported successfully returned home uh, because it is better to be alive this these are some of the pictures that we obtained while they were waiting for their flight to take place meanwhile on the other hand about um 200 people have been rescued on the mediterranean sea by ocean viking that is one of the rescue ships on the Mediterranean that usually goes about to check if there are people who are stranded on the sea and need rescue. Okay, so let's talk about it very quickly. But before I do that, if you are sending money to Nigeria from any foreign country, uh, please use tap tap send and use my promo code. It's very, very important. Use tap tap send. Um, use my promo code, which, is, which you can see on the screen there, Critics News. And then you will thank me later. It is um, five pounds for those in UK, then five euro for those in Europe. Okay, then those in USA and Canada, it is ten dollars and twenty five AED for those in Dubai. Okay, you start that send and then thank me later. My promo code is Critics News, as you can see. Type it in capital letters, and you're not gonna miss out. You can download from App Store or Play Store. So quickly, let's talk about these people that have been rescued so far by the um, uh, what would I call it? By the Ocean Vikings. Congratulations to them. Now they say Ocean Viking rescues nearly two hundred people in the Mediterranean. SOS Mediterranean humanitarian ship rescued one hundred and ninety six migrants in distress in the Mediterranean Sea on July thirtieth. Among the survivors were nine unaccompanied minors and a woman. In the summer, attempt to cross the sea increases due to the good weather, but they remain highly dangerous. SOS Mediterranean uh, humanitarian ship, the Ocean Viking, rescued 196 people 
Nine unaccompanied minors and a woman on the morning of July 30th during two rescue operations. The rescue took place off the coast of Libya. Most of the survivors are from Bangladesh, Pakistan, Egypt and Sudan, SOS Mediterranean said. The first overloaded wooden boat with 96 people on board was spotted early in the morning. A second was spotted shortly after with 100 people, making it 196 at once. Italian authorities have given the city of Ancona in the east of Italy, nearly 1,500 kilometers from the intervention zone, as a safe place to disembark, the NGO said. It is once again an extremely remote port, which requires the teams and survivors to sail for several days, SOS Mediterranean lamented. This practice of assigning remote ports is draining the central Mediterranean of its rare vital search and rescue resources. Prolonged absence far from rescue zones. NGOs argue that the Italian law via the Piantedosi Directive, which hinders the action of humanitarian ships at sea, violates maritime law. They also fear that rescue boat prolonged absence will cause more deaths at sea. Earlier this year, SOS Humanity published data showing that in 2023, rescue ships in the Mediterranean lost 374 days making long journeys to reach Italian port of disembarkation instead of staying at sea to assist boats in distress. In the summer, attempt to cross the Mediterranean Sea increases due to weather, considered today to be milder, but the journey is nonetheless highly dangerous. Now, on July 25th, the German NGO Sea Watch also rescued 156 people on two wooden boats. Some survivors had been poisoned by fuel fumes and got treated on board the rescue ship. These fumes slowly kill people trapped in the boat, who breathe in the toxic fumes coming out from the engines for several hours. So congratulations to these people. The week before, they said that the humanitarian ship, Joe Barrent, and Aurora had provided assistance to 297 migrants in the Mediterranean, while the Italian Coast Guard had rescued 126 people off the coast of Lampedusa. But some migrants are not rescued in the time. In time, NGOs regularly talk of ghost boats, boats spotted by humanitarians before they lose all contact with them. Other boats do not call for help and seek a sea without leaving a trace, without anyone knowing. So they say that a lot of people are dying on the, in the Mediterranean Sea without a trace, without anybody knowing about them. That will be the end of the story. Sometimes they see them, but because they are fully loaded, when they are going to uh, offload the ones that they have uh, loaded already, most times they end up being detained. And they can't go back to pick up the other people whom they saw earlier. So since January, 1,098 migrants have died or gone missing in the central Mediterranean, according to the International Organization for Migration, compared to 3,155 in 2023. So 3,155 people died in 2023 alone. And so far this year, 1,098 have died. Note from the editor's humanitarian rescue ship. Okay, so that is um, the latest update we have on uh, migration as it is right now. Congratulations to all those who have been rescued. I'll see you guys on the next update. Please share these videos to keep our people abreast with what is going on.